Hello there, so I'm back with another video. This is um, just a general chat one. This is on Grand Arena Championship. I, As you can see, I have got into Kyber 4. So I was in a Rhodium one, and I've jumped up into Kyber 4. I've very, got a very good skill rating, basically. I don't really know how I've managed to jump up this high, uh, considering that I lost three rounds last season in my climb to a Rhodium 4, and basically I'm in the top 10%. And apparently the top tens of percent is supposed to be going to Kyber 5. You've got to post on their de on the forums and that's basically what they're saying. So I don't actually understand how I've got a skill rating that has placed me a bit higher. And also it will be interesting to see based on the leaderboards. Because basically there was a post in one of the forums and I was wondering what they were talking about. I'm assuming they're talking about the divisions with in this there was a part of the discussion talking about well will a division 5 player first a division 1 player now obviously previous to this season uh, that's just finished uh, divisions was all separated by gp the skill system rating is is new and obviously it's now acting as part of the matchmaking system here so there was one player here who I've actually now got to try and remember whereabouts they are. But basically, they were in Division 2 and I was in Division 5. And based on the skill rating here, it looks like I might actually be facing them because it's all based on skill rating. Old school wise, I would not be facing them um, because there's a massive GP advantage in their favour. Clearly I've done better than expected and they've probably done a bit worse than expected and we've been grouped into Kai before together but it's still there's I'm I've basically got no chance in defeating someone that was in division two update. Uh I cannot find that person. Basically they had seven million GP and I've got one point five million GP and they didn't have any galactic legends from what I recall. Um, and they didn't have a guild, and unfortunately everybody that I've just scrolled up to, I've scrolled up 10 and I've scrolled down 10, and I can't find them. They were next to me at some point when I was looking earlier, so unfortunately they've now disappeared, but that is a massive disparity between two accounts, and I just don't think that's a very good matchup, so hopefully the leaderboard is actually updating as we speak considering that they're not next to me now and they're not 10 above or 10 below i'm assuming it's been updated as i speak and from this morning it's definitely gone and yeah it was really weird that i'm in kai before i did not expect to get into kai before when i've lost three and i won one nine rounds um that season yeah, I'm very surprised. Very, very, very surprised. Uh, which brings me very neatly to, just as a side part to this video, to my account. And let's have a quick look at the journey, guys. Look at that. I've only got to get four characters up to Relic 7 now. I've done a very good job there of getting Darth Sidious up into Relic now, he's Relic 2, so I'm getting closer, I am getting closer. Now the question I have is when do I start hoarding gear and also energy to start getting the mission tickets and when do I start hoarding gear? Now I have already started um, back in December, it's before Christmas, so I've only been updating one or two characters as I've needed. For the GAC season that's just happened and that's that's another part of the discussion that I wanted to have is 
the Inkyber, I now need to have 11 squads. And as you can see here, I've got a fair few decent squads. Um, I'm, the lineups I'm still tinkering with. I, I, I changed a lot of my lineups um, to try to sort of like get as many relics across the board to make it more difficult in Erodium 1 for my opponents. But now I'm in Kyber, I probably have to try to maybe stretch my relics even further just so that they can't clear me very easily. Although that's not going to be very easy to do. Um, as you can see, I have started Horton Gear, so there's a lot of characters that I can upgrade. And it's just that whole sort of like, well, which ones do I upgrade? Like, when do I start upgrading, like, for example, Clone Sergeant and Cody? Because I think I might go for Galactic Legend Kenobi next. Or I might go for Galactic uh, Legend Anakin next. It's, it's that sort of thing I'm thinking about. Well, I probably just want to be focusing on the charge towards a galactic legend but equally I need to have more squads in my roster uh, that can actually work on defense and offense now one example here is the bounty hunter team here is that what well, do I finish off red uh, like getting Dengar up to gear 11 and then start hoarding my gear again for Sith Eternal Emperor Palpatine or do I do do BB-8, because this uh, General Grievous team has actually done pretty well for me, stealing banners, and um, Dark Trooper was a late addition in the season, because I, I needed a, another droid basically, so I quickly got him up to four stars and got him into action as soon as I could, and then what well, do I start upgrading my Jedi? Um, Sith Triumphant is a trio team, basically Sith Marauder I can swap in and out with my Sith team or with my Sith Empire team. Um, do I try to get my Beskar Mando team up? Now this is probably a decent defense team or offense team. And that's another thing is but which ones do I take an offense or defense now? Um, I think I've got pretty much 11 squads that can sort of do this sort of thing, but I think that's 11 plus another 11. Um, because I need to have 11 on defense and then 11 on offense and I think with my GP at the moment and with the characters that as you can see I've got it's all very um, messy once it goes down to a certain level and also I start need, get, needing Zetas for a lot of these low characters uh, to actually be of any benefit like look at Moff Gideon I need to get two Zetas on him to actually make him work and then also I'd need to rearrange the Imperial Trooper line up there and I don't know whether I feel confident enough to do that sort of thing especially with Dark Trooper in another team and the Ranged Trooper and Death Trooper in another team is it really worth using Moff Gideon at gear 8? I don't know but I think it was, I'm, I'm gonna be forced to do that sort of thing in Kyber 4 and that is the, the league or division that I'm now in it's uh, yeah, it's very surreal, very surreal that I'm in that position now. That I'm actually looking at all of these lower characters and going, well, which ones do I now upgrade? Um, whereas before getting into Kyber, I was really focused on just getting a Galactic Legend. So this is the type of thing I'm talking about. This is a pretty good website. I use this a lot, and I use this. Uh, I send this over to my guild mates quite a lot. And this is the type of thing I'm talking about. Like, look at look at this. Like, I've got now to place two more teams on defense i don't know i do not know whether i've got two more teams that i can realistically put on defense that can actually sort of like do anything decent for me but then i've then got the headache of well what do i take an offense and then that's another headache so okay two more teams doesn't sound too bad but for my roster which was pretty it was pretty stretched because basically i was used to what the chromium um sort of league was that was the division five i was in and then before that that was division two um and those were the the squad layout that you needed and then i went up into a rhodium for this last season and that was a little bit more sort of like stretching my roster but my roster was still able just just to handle that and now in kyber i'm really sort of fearful that my roster is just not going to be able to cut it, especially when I'm starting to then put on like gear 9 characters on defense 
and even taking them on offense and then having to use them it's yeah it's not not the perfect situation you'd want relics or at least gear 12 characters to be taken on offense at least defense you definitely want relics and gear 12 as well gear 11 you can sort of just about pass but putting them putting on gear 9 is it's like sending cannon fodder basically if you want to have a read up now it is obviously got to be updated for the new league system but there are parts and elements that have been already definitely have a look at that website help wiki is very good so with all that said and done, I think I just uh, wanted to show you again, like this is the leagues and the divisions basically, very, very different um, and putting on a lot of pressure for people with my sort of accounts and there are a few people in the leaderboards with my type of account. Let's just quickly just show off. So I don't know whether this one is the top guy here, but Look at that, six, 6 million I think is pretty good. And he's got Meta, Galactic Legend and Fleet as well. And he's got a pretty good skill rating. Uh, let's just quickly go down to me. So there was a few people that have got the same sort of GP as me. But again, look, they've got Galactic Legend. I do not. And then let's just, just do that just as another comparison. Oh, it's pretty much the same GP. There is someone here with pretty much the same GP as me. No, he's going up going up definitely going up there was a uh, guy with 7 million gp that was near me and uh, I've, I've still got to try and find him he didn't have a guild uh, so it should make it easy to spot him uh well that, he's he's pretty close but there you go so someone with no galactic legend a meta capital ship at least same sort of gp and he's going to be in the same problem as me he's going to be in the same problem uh, that i've got with how far can you go with upgrading your roster and still trying to upgrade key characters and uh yeah interesting debate and it'll be interesting to see whether you guys have got the same issue so until next time may the force be with you